Hello and welcome to ME Paradise. Today I'm going to show you how to download and play Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's one of my favorite JRPGs and I'm assuming it's probably one of yours. It's at least one of the best on the Super Nintendo. I'm sure not many people will doubt that. Maybe even the best, but you know, that's a more, you know, that's more of an opinion. Anyways, um, we're going to start you at square one. First you'll need the emulator, obviously, and you'll be able to get that here along with the ROM. First we're going to go to the emulator section, and we're going to scroll down till we find, near the bottom, Super Nintendo Entertainment System SNES. And then we're going to find what platform we can download it on. Um, keep in mind there's more than one, obviously, not just Windows, depending on what type of system you want to play it on, like Android or Linux, or even a modded PS2 or PS3. But today we're going to just go with Windows. Simple, and you probably all have it, or most of you do. Or, and if you don't, I'm sorry, I'm not helping you much. Anyways, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to find the emulator I recommend, which is SNES 9X, in this case. And we're we'll gonna click on it, scroll down, and we'll have the download option right here. Just click on there, it'll download, pop it up. Alright, it's already done downloading, it's a very small file. So we're we'll gonna minimize this, go to your documents, I'm Sean, go to our downloads, and you'll need a unzipping program, I use 7-zip. So we're going to unzip it with 7-zip, extract to SNES, etc, etc. And it'll extract it. I'll just copy that over here, you know, for now. And uh, have that on the desktop for now. But it's useless to us until we have a ROM. And that's just as easy to get. So we're going to go back to ME Paradise. We're going to go to ROMs, ISOs, and games. And we're going to scroll down and find the console we're looking for, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Once again, it's near the bottom, Super Nintendo ROMs. And we'll be presented with this screen. And you'll have your most downloaded and top rated. Obviously, Chrono Trigger is right there, but you can also go to an alphabetical listing. We're going to go to C in this case, just to get you, you know, the gist of how it's listed. You know, pretty simple, just alphabetically sorted. Chrono Trigger right here and we have in this particular case ROM hack versions as well but we're not going to go over those right now. We're going to go with the USA version and if you happen to want the Japanese version right there it is. So let's open that up and we're going to scroll to the bottom there will be some descriptions, some ratings, some reviews, some screenshots and in this case a nice what looks like a uh, official art for it. I'm not sure if it's official or not. But anyways, we're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until we get to direct download links. There we'll have Chrono Trigger USA. Only 3 megabytes. These games aren't that big in comparison to modern games, which are multiple gigabytes. Heck, some can reach 50 gigabytes or more. Anyways, we'll have the download option again here. Download Chrono Trigger USA. Um, click on that. Save file. It'll go to the same place as the emulator, which is Sean Downloads. And once again, you'll have to open it up with uh, with 7-zip in my case. And there's a ROM right there. That's the image that contains all of the game's data. And so we're going to go back to the emulator. I'm going to make a folder called ROMs, just to know where everything is, where all the ROMs we're going to be downloading is, or all the ROMs you're going to be downloading. You know, you can have this folder anywhere. It's all up to preference, but it's just neater to have it in the same directory as the emulator. So we're going to go in there. We're going to take the ROM, and we're going to drag it, copy it, and extract it into the ROMs folder. Alright, so we have the emulator, we have the ROMs, let's boot it up. You know, pretty simple here, except um, the 
the explorer tree will start off like this. So we're just going to have to close that stuff. Um, you don't want it, for most people. You're going to want to start at C, which is the default hard drive, and then we're going to open up users, your username, your desktop, or well, my desktop in my case. It could be it, just remember where you've downloaded it to, and then go to ROMs and click on that, and there's Chrono Trigger right there. Open it up, and you're playing it. Uh, I'm sure we all remember that pendulum quite fondly. And let's not forget, there are other settings. It doesn't have to be in that resolution. You can go to your display configuration here. You can change the resolution to be much higher. Like, even in this case, you can just drag it bigger. You have sound options and uh... all kinds of things but i'd recommend leaving the sound options alone the display configuration you can change to your liking most notably you can apply filtering options to it to make it look better or however you want i think the default bilinear filtering looks fine but hq2 xs can sometimes look pretty good the start screen isn't the best place to start um, for this example, but as you can see, it can sometimes make like square look weird. In this case, like I said, I think by the near filtering looks looks the best. Also, something that will be very important is if you change the input settings. The default input settings aren't ideal, and obviously, you'll want to change it to work with your favorite gamepad. My favorite is the Xbox 360 controller since it's just plug and play. Most modern, I think Xbox 360 controllers are out of the box um, for Windows 7 and 8 PCs. I think Vista as well. I don't know really. Um, so all we need to do is go to input configuration and we'll have this screen. It'll have a picture of half the SNES controller and the various input options. Um, you can set up however you want. So under, have it on the D-pad, up, left, down, right. Now I'm kind of weird, I guess, in that I, since the A and B are inverted on the SNES compared to the Xbox, I have them located as for example this is A on the Xbox so I'm going to make the B button the A button and vice versa and same thing with the X and Y but I'm just weird like that start and select left and right and I recommend leaving these blank since they don't have to help you any in this game I don't know what game that um, it does help you in not even in like Street Fighter because if you have a um, controller, then just pressing left and down will do left and down. I guess it's if you need that for one key button. Or if you have a controller or some kind of input method that is limited by keystrokes. I don't know what is, but if you have that problem, maybe this will be your solution. So we click OK, and now we can control the game, which is very important. And now we can skip that particular scene. Skip that. And we'll just select Active. It's, and we'll select Chrono, because changing his name is blasphemy. No, if that's your thing, you go ahead. But anyways, um, we all know Chrono Trigger. It's not my thing to play it right now I just want to show you how to another thing I want to show you is that um when there go back to the configuration now it doesn't have to be this window it could be full screen as well like so and see it's full screen now I can't remember if it's 
has the bars on the top and bottom normally in the game or if that's just how it is right now but you can change the aspect ratio to uh, the stretch out if you want I don't recommend it personally because I think it distorts the image too much and makes everybody super duper fat and you don't want that you don't want a fat mom do you not if you can help it so we're gonna go back put back on maintain aspect ratio either 4.4 colon 3 which is what it looks like on TV or 8 colon 7 which is how it's rendered natively under keep on 8 colon 7 because there's still some stretching on 4 3 but that's how some of you might be familiar with it so yeah you can just full screen it if you want you can apply some maybe texture smoothers if that's your thing by linear filtering which by the way is when you select none and have that selected which is default um, also you can en enable vsync in order to pre prevent vertical tearing if you don't know what that is um, don't worry about it and thanks for watching I hope this video got your foot in the door of Super Nintendo emulation this emulator should be able to emulate most games that you're thinking of as well as you should be able to download most games for the Super Nintendo off of Emu Paradise so hopefully it'll all work out and you'll be playing Chrono Trigger, Super Mario World, Mega Man X in no time so thanks for watching again and I hope you have a good one